Sometimes the church has some odd juxtaposition of feasts. Yesterday we celebrated with great joy the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ, and today we honor a martyr. Doesn't it seem odd that we go so quickly from joy to the serious story of St. Stephen, who according to the Acts of the Apostles was stoned to death? Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki. In one of my favorite passages in the breviary, the prayer book that every priest is obliged to use, that passage appears today. It's from a saint known as Fulgentius of Ruspe, and it gives a great explanation of how these two feasts actually go together. Here's how it goes. Yesterday, we celebrated the birth in time of our eternal king. Today, we celebrate the triumphant suffering of his soldier. Yesterday, our king, clothed in a robe of flesh, left his place in the virgin's womb and graciously visited the world. Today, his soldier leaves the tabernacle of his body and goes triumphantly to heaven. Our king, despite his exalted majesty, came in humility for our sake, yet he did not come empty-handed. He brought his soldiers a great gift that not only enriched them, but also made them unconquerable in battle. For it was the gift of love. The love that brought Christ from heaven to earth raised Stephen from earth to heaven. Shown first in the king, it later shone forth in his soldier. Love was Stephen's weapon by which he gained every battle and so won the crown. His love for God kept him from yielding to the ferocious mob. His love for his neighbor made him pray for those who were stoning him. Christ made love the stairway that would enable all Christians to climb to heaven.